In this video we're going to be looking at creating scatter plots with the brace graphics in the R statistical software system. To illustrate creating a scatter plot, we will make use of some data on the UK population between 1992 and 2009. Now this data will be stored in a data frame we're creating at the console and it will be in thousands of population. So we'll copy across our text from another program. So here we see we're creating a simple data frame with two columns. The first column is the year and we use the colon function here to create a sequence between 1992 and 2009 incrementing by one year each time and the second column is the population in thousands of people. So we take a quick look at our data frame that's created and we can see that we've got this increasing population. In base graphics, we make use of the plot function to create a scatter plot. So with the plot function, what we need to do is to put in various bits of information. So again, we'll copy the command across to save a bit of time. So what we've got here is the first element submitted to the function plot is the data that will appear on the x-axis, which is the column of years from the data frame and we make use of the dollar notation to extract that particular column. The second function argument is the actual population, so we extract the column corresponding to the population from our data frame uk.df. xlab and ylab are used to specify the text that appears on the x-axis and y-axis respectively. We've then got main to specify an overall title for the graph, so here we're putting UK population and the years which it covers. Lastly, we specify the argument PCH, and here we're picking out the plot symbol number 16. So we submit that command and create our scatter plot. So we can see here that the PCH16 is a solid black circle, and we've got X axis and Y axis labels, an overall title and we could see the increasing trend of population over the time period. 